once you have a baby, you have no modesty. Or at least I didn't. Like, you're literally whipping out your titties in front of all the nurses. Like, you're walking around in mesh underwear with a pad that's, like, bigger than your head. So, I just, like, really don't care. I would walk around the hospital and in my room. everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and this is where fitness meets balance. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my hospital bag for baby number two. I definitely overpacked with my first and I just didn't need half of the things or more that I packed. So I'm going to show you as a second time mom what I'll be bringing. Of course do your research though. You decide what you need and um, I think you'll also find that a lot of the hospitals will provide you with almost everything that you need. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and without further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, so first of all, I have a little list here. I am definitely a list maker. Comment down below if you are too. I get so much satisfaction out of making a list, crossing things off. Plus, uh, if I go into labor in the middle of the night or something, I can look and see what is left on my list, the things that I can't pack until like the day of or you know, as soon as I'm going into labor, like toiletries, that way I can just reference this, especially if I'm like having contractions, not able to think clearly, or if I need to have my husband or somebody else pack my bag for me, it's all here. So wrote that down. Let's get started with baby girl stuff. So a couple of these things are just me being extra. You don't have to do this, but I know I'm gonna wanna take pictures in the hospital, so for instance, I have this cute little set here. It's just a swaddle blanket and a little hat that match. Super cute, got this on Amazon. I'm gonna try to link everything that I can down below as well. So swaddle blanket and a hat. I'm also bringing my letter board and all my letters so I can give her like birth announcement and take pictures of that, you know, with her name and um, height, weight, time of birth, all that good stuff. Also, I have just another swaddle blanket. Um, it's just like a gray chevron. This is old. I want to say it's from Target. I don't know. The brand is Circo. This is from my son. Um, you really don't even need to bring a blanket if you don't want to because the hospitals provide you with plenty. However, these are more just like aesthetic. Like they're just cute. So better for pictures. Again, that's me being extra. Um, I'm also bringing a couple of these little bows because... I am a first time girl mom and I just cannot wait to dress her up in all the cute little outfits. Again, purely for pictures. Um, I'm also bringing another little hat. This brand is Copper Pearl. I love this brand. I have a couple beanies for Ryder, my three year old son in this same brand, but they're just like so soft and stretchy. It's just like the little knotted cap. Um, Babies get real cold and they have a hard time regulating their body temperature at first. So a lot of times in the hospital, they'll be wearing hats. So I'm bringing this hat, bringing this other one. This was a hand-me-down from a friend. I don't even know the brand, the tag is cut out. So another little hat. I am bringing two little pairs of these tiny little newborn socks. Look how tiny they are, they're so cute. <laughs> Um, for either her feet and or her hands because these actually work really good as mittens um, Honestly, I used these more than I ever used real mittens So, you know, they don't scratch their face when they're born because they have those really sharp nails and they're so delicate that You like don't want to even file them or clip them, but <laughs> I'll bring those um, Then I'm going to be bringing three of these zip up jammies. So I talked about this. I talked about these zip up jammies in my nursery tour video. Um, I'll link that below if you wanna see our baby girl nursery as well. But I am just obsessed with the zip up like footed pajamas. First of all, because again, it keeps them warm. It's super simple to change, do diaper changes, um, especially with the zippers that um, are on the bottom. So this will actually be her little going home outfit with this little hat. So cute, little sister it says. 
um, and then I'm just bringing two more of them. Honestly, I don't know that I will need all of these, but you just never know. Um, I am bringing newborn size. My baby, I just had an ultrasound last week at the, or this week, I'm sorry. Hello. You want to say hi? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Gracie Gwen. Um, I just had an ultrasound this week and baby is measuring at just about five pounds, 10 ounces. I am almost 37 weeks. My son was only six pounds, one ounce. So I don't anticipate her to be a super big baby. Obviously ultrasounds are not 100% accurate, but I just don't think that I'm going to need a zero to three month size. Cause with my son, I wasn't sure how big he was going to be. So I brought like newborn and zero to three and he barely fit in the newborn even. Even the newborns were like, the sizing was so big on him. So I'm just bringing three of these little zip ups. I'm contemplating if I should bring like at least one t-shirt onesie, you know, like with the snap bottoms. I just personally don't love them. I don't like buttoning them and unbuttoning them. When they're in the hospital, you have so much skin to skin time that basically, they're just swallowing a blanket most of the time and you're holding them so like they don't really need that much clothes um, i'm just bringing these for mostly going home and if there's like a blowout or spit up or anything i have an extra or two then um, this car seat cover which this is also old this is like four plus years old uh, for my son or three years old for my son it's just this really stretchy car seat cover. This could also be used as a nursing cover, but I never used it for that. I'll just be using this to cover the car seat. It is winter where I live in Colorado, so this will be nice. Also, I just, there's something about like strangers when they see a baby, they always want to like get real close to your baby and touch your baby. And especially with Corona, you're like, uh, excuse me, uh, like stand my bubble so this also really helps also if the baby's sleeping it just like helps people not to disturb your baby or get too close or touch you know oh I'm gonna bring my boppy as well um, it's not the boppy brand and it's actually in her closet so I'm not gonna show you that but it's just a regular nursing pillow I debated bringing this because in the hospital with my son I just used a bunch of pillows I would stack up like you know, pillows on the side of me, regular like sleeping pillows, and pillows in front. I think it'll just be easier to bring a nursing pillow. So I'm gonna bring that. That's it for baby. The hospital gives you wipes, diapers, diaper cream. They give you pacifiers. They give you like everything you could need for you and baby. I'll get into what they gave you for postpartum stuff as well. Um, it never hurts though to ask your doctor or midwife wherever you're going to be delivering what supplies they provide you with because it could vary from hospital to hospital. Also, quick tip, when you leave the hospital, pack up your bag with everything they give you, like stock up on the diapers, the wipes, the uh, peri bottles, the pads, the, all the postpartum stuff, because you're paying for that. Like you are literally paying I don't even know what it costs to have a child in the hospital, but it's something outrageous like fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. So you're going to be paying for that. Your insurance will be paying for that. So take advantage of it because that's what you're there for. That's what it's there for. Just bring it home with you. Um, so yeah, that's it for baby. Now let's get started on stuff for mama. I just ordered a three pack of these from Amazon. And this is just like the little crisscross kind that you just like pull down. Um, it came with this color, a nude color, and then like a blush pink color. So I'm just bringing one black one. Um, and then I ordered this one from Target. This is like a blush color and it's got the little um, snap. Oh, can I get it? Okay, well, I'm gonna need to practice this. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be that hard to snap down. Maybe because I'm not wearing it. Oh, okay. It's been a while, you guys. It's been a while. My son is three and a half. Okay, it wasn't that hard. Be smarter than the bra. Anyways, this is really nice. Um, again, it's just like both of these are this stretchy, like almost sports bra material. No underwire. This one does have built-in cup pads. Um, so yeah, I'll bring those. 
I'm also going to be bringing this robe. It's just a really lightweight robe. It's longer though. I actually bought it for um, postpartum with Ryder. This is the it's a Target brand. It's just like a gray simple robe. I debated bringing my long really fuzzy super warm robe but the more I thought about it I remembered like postpartum your hormones are raging and I know for most women you like get hot flashes at night and you start sweating and they also keep it really warm in the postpartum section of the hospital it's a little cooler like in the delivery section but in the postpartum place um, or unit whatever you want to call it they usually keep it warmer to keep the babies warm so I'll probably just be wearing this I can wear it for pictures wear it around the hospital like honestly once you have a baby you have no modesty or at least I didn't like you're literally whipping out your titties in front of all the nurses like you're walking around in mesh underwear with a pad that's like bigger than your head so I just like really don't care I would walk around the hospital and in my robe even to like go get a snack or just walk down the hallway um, I'm also I just ordered this from Target it is the stars and above brand so it's this long sleeve nightgown so stretchy and just like soft um, easy access to the ninnies for nursing um, I decided to go with the nightgown just because again I'll be probably hot most likely and you like constantly have nurses coming in and like checking you down there um, checking to see that your uterus is like shrinking back up or um, yeah they like push on your stomach which by the way nobody warned me about that and that really freaking hurts at least it did for me so look that up so I'm bringing this little nightgown then this is like this old raggedy loose tank top I want to say it's from Walmart it's so old I don't think that I could even find the link for it at this point but I'll just wear this probably under my robe again easy access for nursing um a lot of moms I have heard they want to wear like that real compressive or almost like sports material you know athletic material tank tops and stuff to like make their belly feel compressed honestly that is not me I wanted loose comfort your belly at least mine still looked like five months pregnant even after I gave birth it takes a while for the swelling to go down um, it definitely is smaller because there's not a baby in there and all the fluid and all that good stuff but I just wanted loose and comfort so I'll be packing this also this is um, just like a stretchy nursing tank but it is a, probably a bit big for me so again loose comfortable can easily just like whip them out to feed baby then I'll be packing these which these are actually maternity joggers which they can either go above the belly so they're high rise or you can fold them down below the belly which I like having both options they're cuffed at the bottom these are from Old Navy so if I want to like wear pants if I get cold I'll have the option to have those then I ordered this on Black Friday for myself because I needed to treat myself I haven't been able to wear it yet but it's just like this matching sweat set it's from Airy you guys this is by um, the Offline. I'll, I'll link this below. It is the most luxurious, stretchy, soft fabric. Oh my gosh. So it's just like a crew um, sweatshirt. It's oversized. It's not really cropped, which I don't want like a cropped shirt anyways, especially with my like postpartum belly. Um, and then just these joggers. Um, these look kind of big which is good because I don't care I just want comfort again um, I'll be wearing this as like my going home outfit also I'll be bringing my slippies these are from Amazon 
I will try to find the link, but these were actually a gift from a friend for Christmas. But they have like the hard sole, which is nice. Um, I can just wear these around the hospital. I'm also going to be bringing these fuzzy socks. Look at that. It's a little unicorn. <laughs> How long has my hair been like that? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So these also have the little grippies on the bottom too. So I can walk around the hospital with them um, without slipping. Some hospitals actually won't let you walk around in just socks unless if they have grips. I've heard that. I don't know what my hospital does um, just to prevent like injury. So we're packing these. I bought a two pack of cell phone chargers for my husband and I, just so it's one less thing that we have to be grabbing last minute. It was like 10 bucks. Um, it's not a super long cord, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I know some people prefer like a 10 foot cord because you don't know how far away an outlet will be from you in the uh, hospital room. Uh, this is just like a normal size cord though, so I'll be packing those. What else? Um, I'm going to bring my camera and my tripod so that we can get some good pics. You certainly don't need a fancy camera. Your phone will do just great. Um, if you are using your phone, I would make sure you have storage on your phone. So clear out old pics because you're going to be like snapping so many pictures and videos that you want to have enough storage. So do that ahead of time too. So you're not like trying to do that in the hospital. Um, obviously I'll be packing my toiletries. Uh, I'll just pack my minimal makeup. I don't usually wear a lot of makeup anyways. And I don't, I didn't put any makeup on with my son. I think I did my eyebrows before I went into labor, but I wear contacts. So I just packed my glasses and then like contact lenses and solution if you take any medications or vitamins pack those as well i packed mine in like a little ziploc baggie i have just two days worth i hope i don't stay longer than that you just never know that's about typical um, sometimes there's complications you may need to stay longer and if that's the case i can just have guy my husband run home and get me whatever else i need so um all my toiletries, I'll pack hair ties, probably some dry shampoo, I'll pack a little travel thing of shampoo and conditioner. I definitely wanted to take a shower after giving birth. I mean, you get sweaty and especially also sweating at night, like I said, like postpartum, just hormone release. Chapstick, of course, or lip balm. I'm gonna bring, I would say like minimal skincare, like bare minimum moisturizer face wash and that's probably it um i'm just looking at my notes i feel like i'm forgetting something let me know in the comments down below if there's something that you think i really really need that i'm forgetting um i'm just packing all my stuff and obviously i'm bringing underwear and sock like a normal pair of socks too but i'm packing all my stuff in a carry-on suitcase mine and babies I don't have like a cute bag like some other moms I've seen but that's fine because this is easy for me to help roll it's just one bag so like my husband doesn't have to carry a bunch of bags I know he has a lot of stuff because he will always pack his laptop bag and then his like overnight bag too so this is just simple on wheels easy enough so that's what I'll be packing my stuff in oh that's another thing postpartum wise I know that some moms I have seen them pack like their own mesh underwear their own pads their own peri bottles and if you want to like by all means you do you I just am totally fine using the stuff that they gave me that they give me at the hospital they'll give you the mesh underwear thick thick pads, big, big ones that are like this long. And then they also have normal sized ones too. I can't remember what that spray is called, but it's like pain relieving spray. They give you that. Uh, they also give you nipple balm for nursing. Uh, they gave me at the hospital that I delivered my son at, the Medela kind, which is my favorite. I've used a couple and that one is like by far the most moisturizing. 
so yeah they'll, they'll give you so much and that's why I'm not packing any postpartum type things because I'm fine with that uh, it might be a good idea to have some pads on hand at home so that you don't have to like send your husband to the grocery store you know or do a grocery pickup order last minute and you just have that ready once you get home so that's all I have for my hospital bag for baby number two and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day Mwah.